How's it going everybody? So today we're talking a little bit about using shapes when improvising over chord changes. So have you ever listened to a jazz solo and heard the soloist take an idea and reuse it in really slick ways? Well, more than likely they were using shapes. So what exactly is a shape and how would I use it in my solo? So a shape is essentially the contour, the general contour of a short phrase or idea. And you would use it in your solo by taking this contour or shape and applying it in the chord changes that follow for maybe a certain progression and generally following those chord changes. So to start using shapes, you're going to need a couple of things. The first is a little bit obvious, but you're going to actually need shapes, maybe two to three to four note ideas. And I'll demonstrate that here in a little bit. And the second thing that you'll need is to have a good understanding of jazz theory and or a good ear to guide you do the chord changes as you're using your shapes. So ideally you have both of these, but it's going to be almost impossible if you don't have either of these really developed. So let's get started. Okay, so I'll be using Duke Ellington's and a mellow tone to demonstrate some shapes for you. I'll be starting off with a three note shape and it'll basically be an arpeggio that's ascending so the general contour is going up and notice how I take this shape and don't jump around with it it's basically pretty smooth from chord change to chord change it might be related to voice leading a little bit but generally you don't want to be jumping up and down that's part of the concept of using shapes you want it to be pretty smooth and it might eventually get higher eventually get lower kind of go up and down pretty smoothly so keep an ear open for that. So hopefully you notice I kept the general contour of the shape, which was generally going up, and you noticed that I didn't really jump around with the shape, it stayed in the basic tessitura. Now let's go ahead and try a four note pattern, and this time let's make it descending. <laughs> As you're working on these, you're going to want to use varying directions, so up, down, and various combinations of the two. You're going to want to use different intervals, different rhythms, uh, varying phrase lengths, chord alterations, and so on. So the main thing is that you keep the general contour of the idea throughout. One fun thing that you can do actually as you start to get more and more comfortable with this is to start applying it by maybe after someone else solos, you're going to take the last phrase that they played and take that general shape or maybe take a, a shape that they kind of keep repeating throughout their solo, which is very common, and go ahead and apply it to your own solo. Maybe pick up where they left off or take a common shape that they're using in their solo and start off with that and go from there. So that's everything for this video. If you found it useful or interesting, please like it and share it and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions or comments or requests for other videos, please leave it down below in the comment section. And until then, we'll see you all next time. Peace.